Yeah, welcome to our mad classroom, Aquaba. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share as well. So over the period, we have been talking about matrices. In our last lecture, we did inverse of a matrix. Today, we want to look at solution of a set of a linear equations. So there are many ways you could solve this. One of the first methods we would like to use is using the matrices we have been working with so far. So if I have a set of linear equations, so let's say I have A11, X1, plus A12, X2, plus, plus A1, and Xn. And I have A21, X1, plus A2, 2X2, plus A2, N, X, A. Okay, so we can go all the way to A, N1, X1, plus A, N2, X2, plus A, N, N, X, A. Okay, so this is our set of what? Linear equations. So let's say this is equal to B1, B2, Bn. With this set of equations, we can write it in a matrix form. So let's do the matrix. So I could have A11, A12, A1n. So An1, An2. A N N. So this is our matrix multiplied by X1, X2, let's say to X N equal to B1, B2 to so B N. Okay. So I've been able to write my set of equation in a matrix form. And with this matrix form, I can find the values of what? X1, X2, Xn, depending on the order of matrix you have, or the unknown you have in your set of words, linear equations. So how do we go about it? So with this, I can write this as, this is a matrix A. So let's say I have a matrix A times X equal to what? B. So if I have so if I have a dot x equal to b, I would want to find the unknowns of what x. I can choose to multiply both sides by the inverse of a. So let's multiply by the inverse of a dot x equal to a inverse b. Okay, so you realize that a inverse times itself is going to give you what? The identity matrix. So I have the identity matrix x to be equal to what? A inverse b. So that if I want to find x, if I multiply the identity times x, I still get what x. So then x is going to be what? The inverse of my matrix A dot what? B. Multiplied by what? B. So with this formula, I can find the unknowns in a set of what? Linear equations. So let's take a two by two matrix and so with two unknowns. So we take an example. So let's say I have the matrix A. Okay, so let me write x1 plus 2x2 plus 3 equal to 0. 
then 2x1 minus 3x2 minus 5 to be equal to what? 0. So this is the set of linear equations I have. So I want to find the matrix what's A and the column what's matrix what's B. So this, you can still write this as x1 plus x2, x2 to be equal to minus 3. Then I have 2x1 minus 3x2 to be equal to what? 5. So let's write it in a matrix form. So let's say I have a matrix. I have 1, 2, 2, negative 3. So it's x1, x2 to be equal to what? Minus 3, what? 5. So this is what our A, this is x, and this is what? B. So I want to find what? X. I first need to find the inverse of what? A. So with the inverse of A, so inverse of A, we need what? The determinant. So I need to find, so it's 1 over the determinant of A minus 3, 2, 2, 1. Okay, so let's find the determinant of A. So A is equal to 1, 2, 2, minus 3. If I want to find the determinant of A, which is this, is going to be what? 1, 2, 2, minus 3. Okay, I hope we still haven't forgotten how to find the determinants of a matrix. Okay, so try, let's see what you get. So I have 1 times minus 3, minus 2 times what? 2. What do I get? Minus 3, minus what? 4. Minus what? 7. Very good. So if you had this, then this is what? Our determinant. So the inverse of A. Okay, so let me find the inverse of A. So our inverse is going to be 1 over minus 7, minus 3, minus 2, minus 2, 1, times, what is B? B is what? Minus 3, what? 5. So let's multiply this two. So I have A inverse to be, okay, so this is what? X. This is the inverse. Okay, so I have x to be 1 over 7 minus, don't forget your minus. Let's multiply. I hope we still haven't forgotten multiplication of matrices. So you pick the row and you multiply by what? The column. So I have my first row, so I have minus 3 times minus 3 plus minus 2 times 5. Then our second row is going to be what? Minus 2 times minus 3 plus 1 times 5. Okay, so what do I have? Minus 1 over 7, minus 9 plus minus 10. Then what do you have here? 6 plus 5. So this is going to be what? Minus 1 over 7. Okay, so I have minus 9 plus minus 10. What are you getting? Very good. So minus 19, then 11. Okay, 
So let's do the multiplication. So we have negative, negative is going to give us what? Positive. So I have 19 over 7. Then this times this is also going to go negative 11 over what? 7. So this implies that our x1 is going to be what? 19 over 7. And our x2 is what? Negative 11 over what? 7. I hope we all had it correct. Okay. So you need what? You need to find what? The inverse of the matrix. If you know the inverse of the matrix, that makes it what? Easier. Let's take another example of two unknowns. Don't forget, we are using metrics to solve. So I have another example, minus x1 plus x2 equal to 5, then 6x1 plus x2 equal to minus 2. So let's write it in a matrix form. So do I have minus 1, the coefficients 1, 6, 1. I have what? x1, x2 equal to what? 5 minus what? 2. So let's say this is what our A, this is what your X, and this is what B. So what are we looking for? We want to find what X, the unknowns. And we said X is going to be what? The inverse of A times what? B. So since we know A, the matrix A, we can find the inverse of what? A. How do we go about it? Let's find the determinant of A. The determinant of A is going to be what? Minus 1, 1, 6, 1. Which is, multiply this by that. So I have minus 1 times 1, minus 6 times what? 1. So what do I have here? Minus 1, minus 6. So what do I have? Minus what? 7. Okay. So the inverse of A, inverse of A is going to be 1 over the determinants of A, the matrix 1, minus 1, 1, 6. Okay. So, what is the determinant of what A? It was what? Minus what? 7. So then we can find what? Our X. Because we know the inverse. So X is going to be 1 over minus 7. 1 minus 1 minus 6 minus what? 1 times RB. What is B here? B is what? 5 minus what? 2. Two. Okay. So let's do the multiplication. So I have one times five, one times five plus minus one times minus two. I have six minus six times five plus minus one times minus what two. So minus one over seven. This is what 5 plus 2. This is going to give us what? Minus 30 plus 2. So what do we get? Minus 1 over 7. 7. This is going to give us what? Minus 28. Okay. So this is the same as. Minus 7 over 7. This and that, negative and negative, is going to give us what? Positive. So we are going to have 28 over what? 7. 
which is equal to mm -hmm, what are you getting minus one four i hope you had it correct very good so this implies that we can therefore see our x1 it's equal to minus one and our x2 it's equal to four very good so this is for two or notes in our next lecture we'll look at solution of a set of linear equations using matrices with three or notes thank you so much don't forget to subscribe